What's up everyone? This is Hello Wish Pro Nelson here and today I'm back again with some more Halo 4 news just for you guys and today is not just any Halo 4 news. It's a it's a special um Halo 4 news just for you guys and today you can already see on the screen what I'm about to talk about. So let's get started with this right away. As you can see on the screen right now, you can see, you know, what to expect on what I'm going to actually talk about. And basically what I'm going to talk about is on you know halo 4 being on the xbox live marketplace before its release now originally it's planned you know to be seen uh there you know on november 6th but there was a leak just recently and microsoft is actually trying to find out why this happened and they've got some um security teams that are you know trying to handle out this uh, particular situation and as you can see on the screen right now you can see that you know, people have been actually playing this game on the Xbox 360. This is not being seen only on this guy's profile, but many profiles um, have been seen containing, you know, this sort of thing like uh, pl now playing Halo 4, you know, playing the campaign on Legendary, you know, sort of thing. And I don't think it's photoshopped. It's actually legit and it's actually happening. There have been at least... Two videos on YouTube that showed this sort of gameplay and both of them have been removed due to the copyright claim so that people don't actually get to see the campaign you know this uh, could be a spoiler for many people so this is why it was uh, removed there before the actual date no one knows why it ended up there some people even think that it's now on torrent sites you know it's only the campaign and as, as you can see on the screen right now you can see two discs we've got the multiplayer and the single player and basically only the single player was available on torrent that's what many people think and if it's true then probably lots of people would have down downloaded it by now for some of them it could lead to some xbox live ban or something like that but you know this is the case here if you do have some thoughts on this please leave them in the comment section below because i am really interested to see what you guys think about this this is actually a really interesting story to talk about so comment section is waiting for you right now <laughs> so the next point i'll be talking about is on how you can earn xp points in halo 4 so basically the normal sort of thing you know when you play uh, the, you can earn them by playing the campaign by the multiplayer and you know by forge you know all those things you can earn your xp points through you know it's just the same as in in um, hail reach you earn um, xp points which is actually um, credits through playing any game type in the actual game so in halo 4 we have for the campaign two weekly challenges for the war games we have two daily challenges two weekly challenges and one monthly challenge the monthly challenge thing sounds really cool it should be something that takes you know a lot of time for maybe it's like collecting 1000 medals uh, over the month or something like that 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 could be an example of a monthly challenge uh, this is what I think well for Spartan Ops we have six different um, challenges for them they haven't explained whether they're weekly or um, daily but we can sort of guess it's daily uh for now you know just for now we don't really know whether they're daily or weekly so that was it for today folks halo rich pro and sony i hope you enjoyed my latest video on halo 4 news so what are your thoughts so far on this whole halo 4 uh, over xbox live thing already before no november 6th what are your thoughts on this please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more halo 4 news uh, from me in the future so until then Mwape.